All right. So I just, uh, I'm sitting here, I'm on Indeed, not looking for a job. I just like to check time to time to see what's new because you never know what opportunities will pop up. But it, um, it had me thinking that, uh, you know, companies are out for profit. And, you know, as an employee, they're not going to pay you what you're worth. So even if you think you're making decent money or whatever, um, <clears throat> you know, that's not really what they're earning off of you. So I think about my situation. So I work in the security field, armed security. So, you know, there's always talks about, um, you know, cutting overtime and things of that sort. So it all sounds good, but you can't operate without it. One of those reasons is because um, there's always shortages in security. There's always people taking off. There's always people that, um, you know, they just want to do other stuff. So, and for my situation, um, you know, I'm always that, that guy that's taking overtime. Now, a lot of times it's not so much that I, I'm chasing money or anything like that, but, um, it's kind of like a win-win for the situation. I mean, the position gets filled, um, you know, so you can at least know that you got a shift cover and that's one less thing to worry about. Um, the second thing is, uh, the other part of that win is that I get paid for my time. So, well, overtime. So, um, but yeah, I mean, even in that situation, like for my security company, as is any other company, um, you know, you want to cut overtime out because it cuts into your profits. So... But at the same time is you need someone to cover the shift. So, um, you know, something's got to give. So I feel like in these situations, yeah, I'm getting taxed more for working overtime, but the company is not making as much profit. So it's kind of like you're taking a power away from them. <clears throat> um. So I guess it's probably, you know, that way with any other company, you know, companies would prefer 40 hour weeks, part time hours, things of that sort. But like I said, just my experience alone, um, I mean, we got a pay raise, a significant pay raise and, um, you know, not much has changed. I mean, there's like, you know, new faces, but the jobs are still on indeed the postings so um yeah i mean i'm just more that guy like i i always have an incentive before i do anything so when it comes to work the incentive is investing so <clears throat> if i'm doing if i'm good with just a 40 hour paycheck even prior to the pay raise and now with the pay raise um definitely better with a 40 hour um paycheck but um you know a shift is open like you know you're you're in a contract to have shifts covered so you can't like let it go absent so what are you going to do the company's either going to you can either lose the contract altogether I'm not saying that this a one instance would cause that or you can choose to lose some of the company profit and pay someone that's willing to come in overtime. And that's kind of how the situation's been for me um, since I've been working <clears throat> our security for um, about three and a half years now. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went running today. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so that's how I look at it. It's like, you know, it's kind of like you as the individual, as an employee, you take the power back away from the company. 
Now, of course, in my situation, um, you know, it goes mostly towards investments, savings and things of that sort. So it's like I'm taking the profit away from the company just to put it into some investments to earn capital gains to, you know, have my own little profit going on. So, you know, I'm not, um, you know, blowing the money at all. You know, I'm very smart about um, extra money and things of that sort that I get. Um, right now, I'm actually uh, paying down my car loan. I have my car now, like, just four years now. But my uh, balance now is like 1700 so I'm just throwing extra payments at it just to pay it off early. Um, let's see, I have a collections that um that'll be paid off this year that I'm actively paying on that. And once those two, two things are paid off, it's gonna increase my credit score. Um, so those are some goals that I'm looking at. So obviously in this situation, extra money is good um for that but going back to what i was was saying is that um companies are out for profit and as an employee you're not in a position to be in any kind of power or any kind of advantage but i look at it like you know you take that advantage back when you take some of the profit away from the company now of course one individual is not gonna do much but in the industry where there's always shortages going on, um, and there's people coming in to fill, fill those shifts. I mean, that takes a huge chunk of profit away. But, you know, they say you got to get it while the getting is good. So, you know, that's just kind of my mentality.